through Jesus, let us continually offer up our sacrifice of praise to God, the fruit of lips that acknowledge God's name. Open our lips, O Lord, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Welcome to morning prayer on Friday. And uh, now we'll have the song of Zechariah. Blessed are you, O Lord our God. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of your servant David. Through that your through your holy prophets you promised of old that you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our forebears and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet, the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way. To give God's people knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins. In tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading is Revelation chapter 17. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls came and said to me, Come, I will show you the judgment of the great whore who is seated on many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and with the wine of those fornication the inhabitants of the earth have become drunk. So he carried me away in the spirit into a wilderness, and I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast that was full of blasphemous names, and it had seven heads and ten horns. The woman was clothed in purple and scarlet and adorned with gold and jewels and pearls, holding in her hand a golden cup full of abominations and the impurities of her fornication. And on her forehead was written a name, a mystery, Babylon the Great, mother of whores and of earth's abominations. And I saw that the woman was drunk with the blood of the saints and the blood of the witnesses to Jesus. When I saw her, I was greatly amazed. But the angel said to me, why are you so amazed? I will tell you the mystery of the woman and of the beasts with seven heads and ten horns that carries her. The beast that you saw was and is not and is about to ascend from the bottomless pit and go to destruction. And the inhabitants of the earth, whose names have not been written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, will be amazed when they see the beast that it was and is not and is to come. This calls for a mind that has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman is seated. Also, they are seven kings of whom five have fallen. One is living and the other has not yet come. And when he comes, he must remain for only a little while. As for the beast that was and is not, it is an eighth but it belongs to the seven, and it goes to destruction. And the ten horns that you saw are ten kings who have not yet received a kingdom, but they are to receive authority as kings for one hour, together with the beast. These are united in yielding their power and authority to the beast. They will make war on the lamb, and the lamb will conquer them, for he is lord of lords and king of kings, and those with him are called and chosen and faithful. And he said to me, the waters that you saw where the whore is seated are peoples and multitudes and nations and languages. And the ten horns that you saw, they and the beast will hate the whore. They will make her desolate and naked. They will devour her flesh and burn her up with fire. For God has put it into their hearts to carry out his purpose by agreeing to give their kingdom to the beast until the words of God will be fulfilled. The woman you saw is the great city that rules over the kings of the earth. Mm -hmm. 
God of mercy, you have given us grace to pray with one heart and one voice. You have promised to hear the prayers of two or three who gather in your name. Fulfill now, we pray, the prayers and longings of your people, as we may be best for us and for your kingdom. Grant us in this world to know your truth, and in the world to come to see your glory. Amen. Amen. And together we say the prayer that Christ taught us. Our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. Loving God, your Son willingly endured agony and shame for us. Give us grace to take up our cross and follow him in, un in newness of life and hope, for he is our Redeemer. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Have a wonderful weekend. We look forward to seeing you next week. Peace be to us all and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.